Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And today I will tell you a step-by-step -step how to do the nail preparation for your gel polish and nail extension so they last a really long time. They are crucial information for every nail technician, beginner, but also the ones which are already working in a salons and online clients. Let's start this tutorial. Very back to basics, but I think it's so necessary to cover this subject as a preparation of the natural nails. So when the client comes in with the natural nails and they want to have a beautiful long-lasting gel polish manicure or um, nail extensions, and it doesn't matter if they are going to be on the tips, if they are going to be acrylic nails or if they are going to be a gel extensions, we have to do a um, good nail preparation. And I will show you step by step what to do it so the nails are going to last a really long time without of damage to the client nails as well. So the first step when the client comes into me is a hand sanitization. So I would sanitize mine and client's hands like with the solution, just like rub it in. And uh, that's to kill any germs which are in the hands. But also some hand sanitizers got like antifungus uh, ingredients in there as well. So that's a really fantastic uh, way of starting your service and it's a must have for every nail technician. Then the next step, and this is my extra step, is a uh, nail dehydrator and that's the product which uh, uh, contains some ac acetone but also in this ingredients you've got antifungal properties as well and it's dehydrate temporary your nail plate. The dehydration lasts 30 minutes so you've got 30 minutes to apply your gel polish or 30 minutes to apply your nail extensions before the product stops working so this is really important if you're a beginner nail technician and it takes you longer you have to dehydrate it again otherwise the product would stop working and doesn't matter what brand you are using the dehydration is only temporary uh, process so you have to dehydrate it again but once we have sanitized the client's hands the first step i'm doing is i'm using those product to dehydrate their nails and the reason for it is imagine the lady was washing her hair and she used a really beef, amazing hair conditioner and the hairs are built up from the keratin and most of the hair conditioner contains the products which really moisturize the hair like make them nice and shiny and healthy and that's what is happening with the nail plate as well the nail plate is absorbing all this um, hair conditioner say example and is the product stays on the nail plate so if you would take a nail file and you would start filing uh, you would kind of press massage this product into the nail plate that's why I'm always starting with cleaning like a nice squeaky uh, clean and the same like ladies uh, normally don't apply cuticle oil and then on the day of their appointment they think like oh I'm going to put a hand cream on my nails so the nail technician will see a beautiful like moisturized hands and again this is not good for uh, long lasting enhancement so we need to really clean that and after we have completed this step I can start preparing the nail plate. So I would take a nail file and I would shorten the free edge of the nail. And if it is a gel polish uh, application, of course we want to keep the natural nails intact and like the longest possible. So I wouldn't uh, shorten them uh, a lot. I would just really mm, make them nicer shape. And if it would be for extensions, I would take them down to the uh, minimum. Okay, so I would start with the filing the free edge and do always every single step like on a one nail then move on into next and next this way you will have a consistency when the natural nails uh, are not manicured they've got some natural shine and we need to remove this shine and if we are going to prepare the nails for a gel polish you would start off filing everything around the cuticle area so you would file everything around the cuticle area just to remove the shine from those places because that's the most difficult places. And that's where the most of the lifting is uh, showing up. So I would do it on all of those nails. Okay, so this is for a gel polish uh, application. This is the only part I would file. And then with my cuticle pusher, I would move to the pushing back the cuticles and you've got two sides one and second so this one is to push the cuticles 
And you don't only push them this way, you have to also push them on the side and on the side, just to keep a really nice uh, shape of the nail fold. Okay, same. So you push them really decent. Then with the other side of your knife, you would remove any dead tissue. Okay, there cannot be anything on there. Those of you who've got um, the e-file in a, in a house or in a salon, so if you're a professional nail tech, then you would take your e-file and a cuticle bead and do this part with the cuticle uh, bead. So you would put the e-file on the low settings and you would go one side and look how much stuff is coming off. And this is all to prevent the lifting of the product. And then put it back into the reverse and do it on the other side. And you can see it, I'm working only on the nail plate, so I'm not touching really the uh, nail folds yet. <laughs> and then you will remove the dust. And if it's needed, you can file a little bit on the nail folds as well just really the biggest excess and some of the clients would have an absolutely good cuticle so you wouldn't have to file more, much uh, you don't want to make their uh, cuticles uh, really red you don't want to make their full nail folds uh, uh, overdone as well so just a little bit you can also touch up on the sides as well so not a big excessive work And this way you've got uh, any tissue from the nail plate removed. And if it will be a gel polish, I will show you on one nail for a gel polish and the rest for extensions because extensions are more difficult. So for a gel polish, this is the only part I would do it with the nail file. And in school when I was um, on the educator's training and um, I was teaching like uh, students as well, we have been told to use only the buffer for a gel polish. I find that if we've got a perfect uh, client, like with amazing nails or a strong nail plate, really not oily, like uh, perfect nails, yes, this would work. But the reality is that most of the clients got really difficult nails. Uh, they are either flat, they're very oily, the products don't want to last on them. So I always uh, do it this step and this way the gel polish lasts longer so i always would file it with the nail file and then use the buffer and the buffer have to be pretty rough like so it cannot be too smooth and what you have to do is you have to remove the shine from the entire nail plate okay so when the natural nails uh, are coming in for a service they all nice and shiny and you have to really properly remove this shine with the buffer And yes, in school, like we have been told to only use the buffer, don't use the file because there is no need. But as I say, I would always use the file. And even if it's needed, you can go like with the corner of your file to tidy up this most problematic area, uh, area there. When we apply the gel polish, it is very important that the free edge, and that's the free edge of the natural nail, doesn't have any sticking out bits and pieces because those sticking out bits and pieces are going to pull our product off. So it is really important you make sure like it is nice and smooth and then you would remove the dust and dehydrate those nails again. Never touch the nail plate with your uh, fingers because we've got some oils on the fingers as well. Run through the light and check if there is any shiny places. If there is no shiny places, you have made a good job and then dehydrate the nail plate. Okay, dehydrate it again. And then you can use an extra nail dehydrator on the entire nail plate and once it's dry apply the soak off base gel okay so that will be your step by step for a nail preparation for a gel polish when it comes to the extensions and again i have seen some nail tech using a buffer that would be so wrong um, that wouldn't give you enough scratches for the product to stick in so for gel polish which adhere to the natural nail plate extremely well 
the buffer is absolutely enough and the grid I'm using is 100 by 180 um, so that I, I usually prefer working with 180 grit on the natural needle and 100 like for reshaping so uh, my buffers got two sides and depending if it's a new brand new buffer 180 is enough if it's a used buffer like if I'm working on my needles then I would use the other side which is 100 uh, grit so that's for your gel polish. For uh, new um, extensions, you have to create the scratches. So the buffing is not enough. So you would take a file and you would file away any shine on the natural nail plate. Like any shine needs to come off. And I'm using a site which is 180 grit. For a natural nail, 100 grit would be too strong. It would create too many scratches and we really don't want that. So 180 is a perfect grit. I find it 240. Again, lots of nail technicians have been told in school 240 grit is a perfect for a natural nails. I find it not suffi sufficient um, to, to prepare the nail plate um, because we don't want to file it like crazy. We really just want to remove the shine. So 180 grit is perfect. Remove the dust and again inspect it. And you can see it a slight difference uh, like this nail is more matte compared to this one. So that's the difference in between the buffer and the file. And this nail would be prepared for a nail extension. So we're removing the dust and then using a blue scrap, which is a nail dehydrator. Remember, it only works um, 30 minutes. And then another extra nail dehydrator on the entire nail plate, just to make sure the nails are prepped good. And the Proper prep is crucial, like if you would have uh, clients which are having tendency for uh, lifting and then the water get inside uh, and it gets trapped, they could easily get a um, bacteria infection, which is pseudomonas and that's a greeny, um, greeny color appearing on the nail. It is not like really danger, but in some cases it can grow pretty large and obviously no one wants to work with the green nails and it can happen if you do your prep wrong. And another crucial thing is quite often we are getting a clients which are coming in and they having a mobile phones with them because they want to show you the picture you want, uh, they want on their nails. And they will constantly use their phones, they will touch their skin, they will scratch their nose and doing all sorts of different strange things. Like, and that is really wrong because you have, you have done all this hard work, you have dehydrated the nail plate, you have prepared it for a product application, to making sure there is no dust, there is no oils, there is no bacteria and any dirts, and then they are going to scratch their face. They are bringing, bringing any oils and any dirt which they had on their face into the nail plate, and then you will, if you do not dehydrate it again, you will encapsulate all that. And again, that can cause the lifting, and then um, they can get an, um, pseudomonas bacterial infection on the nail plate, uh, which is not good. There is also a video when I'm talking a little bit about um, this nail disorder because it's a pretty uh, common one when the nail plate isn't prepped properly. I think that's that's the main uh, that's the main information about the nail preparation and the main the main one and the crucial one. If you would overfile the client, client's nails and they really thin, they would work too much underneath of the product. And I might actually show you that on some on something. Um, I hope you will guys understand what I mean. But imagine this is a nail plate and the nail plate is nice and stiff and strong. And on top of those nail plate, we are putting a, a product which is hard. If this nail plate isn't too bendy, it is going to kind of stay with the, with the product. But if the natural nail plate is so soft, each time when the nail bends, the product might kind of separate from, from it. And you cannot do really nothing about it because it is a natural nail which becomes too soft. In this case, I would recommend it using more flexible products. So that could be uh, more kind of like a soak off gels, which are much softer than the Buildier gel or acrylic. Uh, but the main thing, keep your clients' nails ni nice and healthy with the proper uh, nail prep. And here again, you can see the difference. The gel polish is not as uh, matte, it's not as scratched as the preparation for a nail extensions. But at the same time, there is no redness on the nail plate and there is no damage to the natural uh, nail plate. Let me know also, guys, if you would like to see more of those kind of uh, theory 
tutorials uh, where I'm telling you uh, little hints and tips like how to make the nail extensions last longer or what is causing the lifting and all sort of information like that. I hope you have really enjoyed this uh, video glittery hacks and bye for now.